With the invention of high-precision optical telescopes in the 1970s, astronomers were able to monitor outer galaxies light years away with new precision. For a decade, astronomers monitored the rotation of galaxies, and by the late 1980s, it was clear something was wrong with our current model of physics. Isaac Newton's 300-year-old theory of gravity looked as if it needed updating. Galaxies are huge collections of stars, held together by the forces of gravity. They rotate around a compacted cluster of stars, glowing brightly in the centre. To understand how these galaxies rotate, astronomers compared them to systems we already understand. For most of us, this is a vinyl record. To a physicist, it's a perfectly uniform rigid disk. Being equally flat throughout, a record is a good starting point for how we can see a galaxy as a giant solid disk made up of stars. We can model its rotation using red balls of plasticine to represent a few of the stars in the inner and outer regions of a galaxy. Each ball covers the same angle of rotation in the same time period. This means the speed of the ball is greater, the further it is from the centre. On a graph, we can see the linear relationship between velocity and the distance from the centre. A different model astronomers looked at is that of planets rotating around the Sun. This is not a rigid disk. Each planet orbits due to the Sun's gravity. Here, the speed of the inner objects travels much faster than those on the outer regions of the solar system. We can see the relationship between velocity and distance from the centre are inversely proportional. Monitoring the speed of different stars in a galaxy, and calculating their distances from the galactic centre, astronomers realised a discrepancy. At a certain point, the speed of the stars dips, then levels up and becomes roughly equal. We can see how the centre of the galaxy behaves in a similar way to the record, compacted to act like a giant solid disk. The dip in the speed of the stars further out is initially similar to that of our orbiting planets, decreasing exponentially with distance from the centre. However, the rotation of galaxies does not follow this curve as we'd expect. Instead, there is an excess velocity on the outer stars. There must be a reason they have a higher, more consistent velocity than we expect. The logical explanation, put forward by astronomer Vera Rubin in the 1980s, is that there must be excess mass affecting the system. This stuff, invisible to us, is dark matter, and is believed to exist in an invisible halo surrounding the galaxy. Indeed, our proof of it is simply that it is a logical solution to make the numbers work, and to bring our understanding of galaxies, quite literally, up to speed.